stumbled upon my tiny little channel in my corner of the internet. Who doesn't really know anything about me? Perhaps this is your first video of mine. Well, fuck you. I'm reading My Immortal. <laughs> Chapter 1. Author's note. Special fangs, get it, because I'm gothic, to my GF. Ew, not in that way. Raven. Bloody Tears 666. Uh, gosh, for helping already. me with the story and spelling. I need another beer. You rock. Justin, you're the love of my depersing yeah. life. You rock too. MCR rocks. Hi, my name is Ebony Darkness Dementia Raven Way, and I have long ebony black hair, that's how I got my name, with purple streaks and red tips that reaches my mid back and icy blue eyes like limpid tears. And a lot of people tell me I look like Amy Lee. Others oh, note if you don't know who she is, get the hell out of here. Uh, I am leaving. I don't know who that is. <laughs> I'm not related to Gerard Way, Hi. but I wish I was because he's a major fucking hottie. I'm a vampire, but my teeth are straight and fucking stop sneezing on my stream. God damn it. Why are you sneezing so loud? I'm a vampire, but my teeth are straight and white. I have pale white skin. I'm also a witch, and I go to a magic school called Hogwarts in England, where I'm in the seventh year. I'm 17. I'm a goth, in case you couldn't tell, and I wear mostly black. I love Hot Topic, and I buy all my clothes from there. For example, today I was wearing a black corset with matching lace around it, and a black leather miniskirt, pink fishnets, and black combat boots. I was wearing black lipstick, white foundation, black eyeliner, and red eyeshadow. I was walking outside Hogwarts. It was snowing and raining, so there was no sun, which I was very happy about. A lot of preps stared at me. Did I put up my. <clears throat> yes! This is a Harry Potter fanfiction. I a put up what? my. F I you want to stop interrupting? No. I have no idea what's going on. I, I put up my know. middle finger at them. Hey, Ebony! <laughs> shouted a voice. I looked up. It was. <gasps> Draco Malfoy? What's up, Draco? I asked. Nothing! He said shyly. But then I heard my friends call me, and I had to go to. I had to go away. X X X X X X X X X X X X Author's note: Is it good? Pulls tell me fangs. No, it's not. Chapter two. Author's note: Fangs to bloody tears six 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 for helping me with the chapter. BT dubs. Prep. Stop flaming my story, okay? X X X X X X X X X Six 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 x x x x x. The next day, I woke up in my bedroom. It was snowing and ringing again. I opened the door of my coffin and drank some blood from a bottle I had. My coffin was black ebony, and inside it was hot pink velvet with black lace on the ends. I got out of my coffin and took off my giant MCR T-shirt, which I used for pajamas. Instead, I put on a black leather dress, a pentagram necklace, combat boots, and black fishnets on. I put on four pairs of earrings in my pierced ears and put my hair in a kind of messy bun. Four pairs? My friend, Willow, author's note, Raven, this is ooh, woke up then and grinned at me. She flipped her long, waist-length raven black hair with pink streaks and opened her forest green eyes. She had them closed that whole time. She, <laughs> she fucking, she fucking woke up, grinned at. She woke up, grim, grinned at Ebony, and then flipped her waist-length raven black hair. She fucking got dressed somehow, and then opened her eyes. Okay. She put on her Marilyn Manson t-shirt with a black mini, fishnets, and pointy high-heeled boots. We put on our makeup, black lipstick, white foundation, and black eyeliner. Oh, oh my fucking god. I saw you talking to Draco Malfoy yesterday, she said excitedly. Yeah, so, so, uh, yeah, I said, blushing. Do you like Draco? She asked, as we went out of the Slytherin common room and into the Great Hall. No, I so fucking don't, I shouted. Yeah, right, she exclaimed. Just then, Draco walked up to me. Hi, he said. Hi, 
I replied flirtily. Hold on, I can I can say that more flirtily. Hi. <sighs> That's not flirtedly enough. Oh, all right. Hi! <laughs> Please, it hurts. Guess what? He said. Please, what? I asked. Well, good Charlotte are having a concert in Hogs. Are good Charlotte fucking wizards? Hold on. <laughs> are having a concert in Hogsmeade, he told me. That's an emo band. Oh yeah, that's an emo band. Oh. My. Fucking. God! I screamed. I loved GC. They are my favorite band, besides My Chemical Romance, of course. Well, what do you want to... Well, do you want to go with me? He asked. I gasped. Chapter 3. Author's note. Stop flaming to story preps, okay? Otherwise, fangs to gothic people for the good reviews. Fangs again, Raven. Oh yeah, BTW, I don't own this or the lyrics for good tralot. On the night of the concert, I put on my black lace-up boots with high heels. It's Charlotte. It's Charlotte. Uh-huh. Underneath them were ripped red, ripped red fishnets. Then I put on a black leather mini dress with all this corset stuff on the back and front. I put on matching fishnet on my arms. I straightened my hair and made it look all spiky. I felt a little depressed then, so I slit one of my wrists. I read a depressing <laughs> book. <laughs> I read a depressing book while I waited for it to stop bleeding, and I listened to some good Charlotte. That's not how that works. I, that's not how I, I, I'm in the mood to feel depressed. Let me slit my wrist. <laughs> oh hey guys, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm my dog just died. I, I better slit my wrist now. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, you have to. You actually have to. It's... I, I painted my nails black and put on tons of black eyeliner. Then I put on some black lipstick. I didn't put on foundation because I was pale anyway. <laughs> I drank some wait, human blood, wait, so I was ready to go to the concert. I wait, went what? outside. Wait. So, so they're vampire and they're a wizard? Yeah. It all hurts. Wizard vampire. Isn't Look. It's yeah. a vampire. <laughs> it's um, a vampire. All right, all y'all shut up. I'm trying to narrate story. this. Oh I went outside. Draco was waiting there in front of his flying car. He was wearing a simple plan t-shirt. They would play at the show, too. Baggy black skater pants. Black nail polish and a little eyeliner. Author's note. A lot for cool boys wear it, okay? <laughs> Hi. <sighs> Shut your mouths. <laughs> Hi, Draco, I said in a depressed voice. Hi, Ebony, he said back. We walked into his flying black Mercedes Benz. The license plate said 666 and flew to the place with the concert. On the way, we listened excitedly to Good Charlotte and Marilyn Manson. We both smoked cigarettes and drugs. <laughs> when we... <laughs> When we got there, we both hopped out of the car. We went to the mosh pit at the front of the stage and jumped up and down as we listened to Good Charlotte. You... Okay, hold on. I gotta... Let me, let me just... You come in cold. You're covered in blood. Let me... Where the fuck is this? Hold on, shut up! I'm playing it. Sang Joel, I don't own the lyrics to that song. <laughs> Joel is so fucking hot, I said to Draco, pointing to him as he sung, filling the club with his amazing voice. Suddenly, Draco looked sad. What's wrong? I asked as we moshed to the me He always looks sad! <laughs> then I caught on. Hey, it's, <laughs> hey, it's okay. I don't like him better than you, I said. Really? asked Draco sensitively, and he put his arms around me, all protective. 
Really, I said. Besides, I don't even know Joel, and he's going out with Hillary fucking Duff. I hate that fucking little bitch, I said disgustedly, thinking of her ugly blonde face. What did she ever do to you? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the night... Yeah, fucking... She, she's a fucking... She's a fucking prep, duh. The night went on really well, and I had a great time. So did Draco. After the concert, we drank some beer and asked Benji and Joel for their autographs and photos with them. We... We got GC concert tees. Draco and I crawled back into the Mercedes-Benz, but Draco didn't go back into Hogwarts. Instead, he drove the car into... The Forbidden Forest! <laughs> oh no! Chapter 4. Author's Note. I said stop flaming, okay? Ebony's name is N-O-B, not Nut... <laughs> nut Mary Sue, okay? Draco is so in love with her that he is acting different. They knew each other before, okay? <clears throat> X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X Draco! I shouted. What the fuck do you think you're doing? Draco didn't answer, but he stopped the flying car and he walked out of it. I walked out of it too, curiously. What the fucking hell? I asked angrily. Ebony? He asked. What? I snapped. Draco leaned in, extra close, and I looked into his gothic red eyes. He was wearing color contacts, which revealed so much depressing sorrow and evilness that suddenly I didn't feel mad anymore. And then... Suddenly, just as I, Draco kissed me passionately. Draco climbed on top of me, and we started to make out keenly against a tree. <laughs> he took what are we of... listening to? What is this? My immortal... Shut your mouth. <laughs> he took of my top, and I took of his clothes. I even took of my bra. Then he put his thingy into my you-know-what, and we did it for the first time. Oh, 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 I screamed. I was beginning to get an orgasm. We started to kiss everywhere, and my pale body became all warm. And then... What the hell are you doing here, you motherfuckers? It was... <clears throat> This is going to take a while. There are a lot of dot, dot, dots here. Uh, actually, the correct word is ellipses. I didn't know Dumbledore was a Yeah, I, I know what the proper term is. I'm joking, I'm joking. Dumbledore! <laughs> <laughs> so Dumbledore, just to recap, walks in and says, What the hell are you doing, you motherfuckers? <laughs> Author's note. Stop flaming. If you flam, it mends your opponent. Prep or a poser. The only reason Dumbled Dumbledore swore is cause he had a headache. <laughs> okay? And on top and on top of that, he was mad at Dumb for having sex. PS I'm not updating until I get five good reviews. <laughs> Dumbledore made Draco and I follow him. He kept shouting at us angrily. You ludicrous fools! He shouted. Big word. <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to look up some ludicrous real quick. <clears throat> you fools! You're listening to ludicrous fools! <laughs> oh, pretty ass pose! Mm. Fuck, this is this is some good ass music. Okay, that's enough ludicrous for us. <laughs> Where was I? I started to cry tears of blood down my pallid face. Draco comforted me. When we went back to the castle, Dumbledore took us to Professor Snap and Professor McGonagall, who were both looking very angry. They were having sexual intercourse in the Forbidden Forest, he yelled in a furious voice. Hold on, I'm going to actually narrate that like Dumbledore. They were having sexual intercourse in the Forbidden Forest, he yelled in a furious voice. Why did you do such a thing, you mediocre dunces? Asked Professor McGonagall. You mediocre dunce! 
<coughs> How dare you? How dare you? demanded Professor Snape. And then Draco shrieked, Because I love her! Everyone was quiet. Dumbledore and Professor McGonagall still looked mad, but Professor Snape said, Fine, very well, you may go up to your rooms. Draco and I went upstairs while the teachers glared at us. Are you okay, Ebony? Draco asked me gently. Yeah, I guess, I lied. I went to the girls' dorm and brushed my teeth and my hair changed into a low-cut black floor-length dress with red lace all around it and black high heels. When I came out, Draco was standing in front of the bathroom and he started to sing I Just Wanna Live by Good Charlotte. I was so flattered, even though he wasn't supposed to be there. We hugged and kissed. After that, we said goodnight, and he reluctantly went back into his room. Delightful. Author's note. Shidget up preps, okay? P.S. I will not update up till you give me, until you give me good revows. The next day, I woke up in my coffin. I put on clothes. I'm not reading more fucking clothes. I spray-painted my hair with purple. That's not how it works, pal. In the Great Hall, I ate some Count Chocula cereal. With blood instead of milk. <laughs> and a glass of red blood. Suddenly, someone bumped into me. All the blood spilled over my top. Bastard! I shouted angrily. I regretted saying it when I looked up because I was looking into the pale white face of a gothic boy with spiky black hair with red streaks in it. He was wearing so much eyeliner that I was going that I was going down his face and he was wearing black lipstick. He didn't have glasses anymore and now he was just wearing red contact lenses just like Draco's and there was no scar on his forehead anymore. He had a manly stubble on his chin. He had a very sexy English accent. He looked exactly like Joel Madden. <laughs> He was so sexy that my body went all hot when I saw him, kind of like an erection, only I'm a girl, so I didn't get one, you sicko. So, she only, uh, got mad at... I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, he said in a shy voice. That's alright. What's your name? I questioned. My name's Harry Potter, although most people call me vampire these days. What? <laughs> he grumbled. Why? I exclaimed. Because I love the taste of human blood, he giggled. <laughs> well, I am a vampire, I confessed. Uh, really? He whimpered. Yeah! I roared. We sat down to talk for a while. Then Draco came up behind me and told me he had a surprise for me. It's his dick. So I went away with him. Chapter 7. Hold on, hold on. I need to drink some of my tea. I'm not ready for this. Mm. How many oh. chapters are there? Like fucking 40. Oh, God. Oh. Beautiful. And they just get longer. Ten, ten oh, reviews. Yeah. Ten good reviews. I'm doing chapter 1 through 11 right now. Rough. Chapter 7. Bring me to life. Author's note. Well, okay, you guys, I'm only writing this because I got five god reviews. In BTW, I won't write the next chapter till I get ten good vons. Stow flaming, or I'll report you. Ebony isn't a Marie Sue, okay? She isn't perfect. She's a Satanitz. And she has problems. She's depressed, for God's sakes. Okay. X X X X X X X X Z X X X X X Draco and I held our pale white hands with black nail polish as we went upstairs. I was wearing red Satanist sings on my nails and red polish nail polish. Author's note. See, does that sound like a Mary Sue to you? Yes! I waved for a moment. Yeah. What? What's going on, sluts? 
What's that banging? What's hmm. all that racket? Yeah, hold on. <laughs> What's that noise? What's that sound? Um, <laughs> nothing. All right. Hmm. Hmm. Sounds suspicious. Hmm. All right. <laughs> I waved to Vampire. Dark misery was in his depressed eyes. I guess he was jealous of me that I was going out with Draco. Anyway, I went upstairs excitedly with Draco. We went into his room and locked the door. Then... We started Frenching passively. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, mm, mm, I guess it's all right. Mm. Passive aggressive French kisses. <laughs> and we took off each other's clothes enthusiastically. <laughs> so they're first like, and then they're like, let's get these, let's get these clothes off. He felt me up before I took of my top. What the hell did I just come back to? Uh, oh, oh, yeah. then, then I, yeah, oh yeah, then I took off my black leather bra, and he took off his, black leather bra doesn't bra. really sound comfortable. <laughs> he, he also took off his bra. And he took off his pants. We went on the bed and started making out naked, and then he put his boy's thingy in mine, and we had sex. See, is that stupid? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> it's pretty dumb. Pretty, wow. pretty dumb. Oh, Draco, Draco! I screamed while getting an orgasm when all of a sudden I saw a tattoo I had never seen before on Draco's arm. It was a black heart with an arrow going through it. On it, in bloody gothic writing, were the words... Vampire! <laughs> I was so angry. You bastard! I shouted angrily, jumping out of the bed. No, no, but you don't understand, Draco pleaded, but I knew too much. No, you fucking idiot, I shouted. You probably have AIDS anyway. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, it's a little bit too late. I put on my clothes all huffily and then stomped out. Draco ran out even though he was naked. He had a really big you-know-what, but I was too mad to care. Ass. I stomped... <laughs> He had a really big ass, but I was too mad to care. I stomped out and did so until I was in Vampire's classroom where he was having a lesson with Professor Snape and some other people. Vampire Potter, you motherfucker, I yelled, and so did Dumbledore. <laughs> Chapter 8. Author's note. Stop flossing, okay? <laughs> if you do, then you're a prep. Six 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 sound of X's, I guess. Yeah. That is. It'll it'll make sense in the video, okay? Everyone in the class stared at me, and then Draco came into the room, even though he was naked, and started begging me to take him back. Ebony, it's not what you think, Draco screamed sadly. My friend, Bloody Mary Smith. By the way, Bloody is spelled with an apostrophe in between the B and the L. My friend, Bloody Mary Smith, smiled at me, bloody. understatedly. She flipped her long waist length. By the way, waist is spelt as in, like, shit. Waist length, gothic black hair. And opened, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> My friend Bloody Mary Smith smiled at me understatedly. She flipped her long waist length gothic black hair and opened her crimson eyes like blood that she was wearing. God, she had them closed the entire lesson, the entire Again? day. Oh, it's not even. She. Holy she shit. only opens them for a dramatic effect. <laughs> of course. She's a Mary Sue. She had pale white skin that she was wearing white makeup on. Hermione, wait, hold on, guys. We got some serious backstory here. 
Hermione was kidnapped when she was born. Her real parents are vampires, and one of them is a witch, but Voldemort killed her mother, and her father committed suicide because he was depressed about it. She still has nightmares about it, and she is very haunted and depressed. It also turns out her real last name is Smith and not Granger. Since she has converted to Satanism, she is in Slytherin now, not Gryffindor. Gryffindor spelt Griffin and then door, as in close the door. <laughs> Nice. They did their research. <laughs> what is it that you desire, you ridiculous dimwit? Snape demeaned oh angrily in his so cold voice. To depress people and suicidal people. Oh yeah. Dude, it, this thing has its own Wikipedia page, and I'm just looking through it. And the oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh the, yeah. Look at vampire. Let me, let me, let me fucking continue narrating this. I'm sorry. <laughs> what is it that you desire, you ridiculous dimwit? Snape demeaned angrily in his cold fucking why are you ringing bells over there? <laughs> Sorry. Mute your microphone, I swear to god. <laughs> Snape S Snape demeaned angrily in his cold voice, but I ignored him. Vampire, I can't believe you cheated on me with Draco, I shouted at him. Everyone gasped. Nobody would care. <laughs> I don't know why Ebony was ma so mad at me. I had went out with the vampire, I'm by, and so was Ebony, for a while, but then he broke m What? Oh, oh, this is, this is Draco's point of view, I think. Yeah, Draco's point of view. I had went out with the vampire, I'm by, and so was Ebony, for a while, but then he broke my heart. He dumped me because he liked Brittany, a stupid preppy fucker. We were just good friends now. He had gone through horrible problems, and now he was gothic. Ha <laughs> like I would hang out with a prep. But I'm not going out with Draco anymore, said Vampire. Yeah, fucking right. Fuck off, you bastard, I screamed. And I ran out of the room and into the forbidden forest where I had lost my virility. <laughs> where I had lost my virility to Draco. I used to have a dick, and I had sex with Draco, and... <laughs> just fell right off and then I started to burst into tears chapter 9 author's note stop flaming okay I didn't I didn't read all the books hmm. <laughs> mm. this would make a great movie. like the Harry Potter ones are like in general. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All the Harry Potter. They didn't read the books. <laughs> <clears throat> this is from the movie, okay? So it's not my fault if Dumbledore swears. Besides, I said he had a headache. <laughs> and mm -hmm. the resin snap doesn't like Harry now is because he's Christian. <laughs> oh. And Vampire is a Satanist. My Chemical Romance rocks. Wait, there's a character named Vampire in this? Uh, yeah, it's Harry Potter. Potter. Uh, he renamed himself to Vampire Potter. Catch up. I'm s uh, yeah, I was away. <laughs> Don't- I what? You can see what he looks like XX 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 I was so mad and sad. I couldn't believe Draco for cheating on me. I began to cry against the tree where I did it with Draco. <laughs> then all of a sudden, an horrible man with red eyes and no nose and everything started flying toward me on a broomstick. He didn't have a nose, basically like Voldemort in the movie, and he was wearing all black, but it was obvious he wasn't Draco er, but it was obvious he wasn't gothic. It was Voldemort. What? Uh? He didn't have a nose, basically like Voldemort in the movie, and it was Voldemort. <laughs> Wow. No, I shouted in a scared voice, but then Voldemort shouted, Imperious, and I couldn't run away. Crookshanks, I shouted at him. Voldemort fell off his broom and started to scream. I felt bad for him, even though I'm a sadist, so I stopped. Oh. Ebony! 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 He yelled. Thou must kill Vampire Potter! I thought about Vampire and his sex eyes and his gothic black hair and now his face looks just like Joel Madden. 
I gotta look up a picture of Joel Madden real quick. Joel Madden. I have a picture of him in the um, um. in the thing. The dead microphone. This motherfucker doesn't look like Harry Potter. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> all right. Okay. Out of high school, I must be really old vampire guess. <laughs> Oh, man. Where was I? Oh, right. I remembered that Draco had said I didn't understand, so I thought, what if Draco went out with Vampire before I went out with him and they broke up? You fucking genius! <laughs> no, Voldemort! I shouted back. <laughs> Voldemort <laughs> gave me a gun. <laughs> No, please, I begged. Thou must, he yelled. If thou does not, then I shall kill thy beloved Draco. And why doesn't Voldemort just kill her partner directly? Why the he fuck? The gun. Why the fuck did Voldemort give her a gun? They're wizards. He wants to make it look like it wasn't him. Uh, how did you know? I asked in a surprised way. Voldemort got a dude you're so retarded look on his face. Whoa. I I have telekinesis, he answered cruelly. And if you doth not kill vampire, then thou know what will happen to Draco, he shouted. Then he flew away angrily on his broomstick. <laughs> How do you fly away angrily? <laughs> okay. I was so scared and mad I didn't know what to do. Suddenly Draco came into the woods. Draco, I said, hi, he's, <laughs> hi, he said back, but his face was all sad. He was wearing white foundation, messy eyeliner, kind of like a pentagram, get it, between Joel Madden and Gerard Way. Why did, do, why does fucking everybody in this story look like this fucker? <laughs> okay. Are you okay? I asked. No, he answered. I'm sorry I got all mad at you, but I thought you cheated on me, I expelled. That's okay, he said all depressed, and we went back to Hogwarts together, making out. How are they, like, making out while they're walking back to Hogwarts? <laughs> it's uncomfortable. <laughs> they make it work. <laughs> Love's a crazy thing. Chapter 10. Fly. Author's note. Stop it, you gay fags. If you do not <laughs> like my story, then fuck off. <laughs> P.S. <laughs> P.S. It turns out Bloody Mary isn't a muggle. Effort all. And she and Vampire are evil. That's why they moved houses, okay? Oh, okay. Got yeah, it. XXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXX
Sure. We were singing a cover of Helena, and at the end of the song, I suddenly burst into tears. Oh, sorry, bust into tears. Ebony, are you okay? Bloody Mary asks in a concerted voice. Concerted? <laughs> what the fuck do you think? <sighs> I asked angrily. And then I said, well, Voldemort came and the fucking bastard told me to fucking kill Harry. But I didn't want to kill him because, well, he's really nice, even if he did go out with Draco. But if I don't kill Harry, then Voldemort will fucking kill Draco. I burst into tears. Suddenly, Draco jumped out from behind a wall. <laughs> <laughs> awful he just jumped out from behind a wall he was just there like Nyeh! what's he gonna say why didn't you fucking tell me <laughs> he shouted how could you 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 fucking poser muggle bitch see is that out of character what? she's not a muggle though I started to cry and cry Draco started to cry too all sensitive then he ran out crying we practiced for one more hour. Then, suddenly, Dumbledore walked in angrily. His eyes were all fiery, and I knew that this time it wasn't because he had a headache. What have you done? Oh, hold on, sorry. What have you done? He started to cry wisely. <laughs> See, that's basically not swearing. And this time he was really upset and you will see why. Ebony, Draco has been found in his room. He committed suicide by slitting his wrists. Huh. But I thought he couldn't. Yeah, wasn't that like... He tried to like yeah, cut his wrists and did like. Did just get retconned in the next chapter? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yep. <laughs> this is the He's last chapter, y'all. This is the last chapter that I'm reading. I'll read to you again one time, but Maybe he was wearing for now, shirt. this one is the last one. Chapter eleven. Author's he note. I said stups. <laughs> 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 A fucking like meaty, juicy steak. He was like. Yeah. <laughs> Author's note, I said stop flaming up preps. See, if this chapter is strupid, it deals with really Swiss issues. See, SP, see for yourself if it it's stupid. Burr w fangs f to my friend Raven for helping me. You need a lot of help. <laughs> oh, yeah. Six 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 six. Oh, sorry. X x x x x x x x x x x x x x x x six 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 x x x x x x x. No! I screamed. I was horrified. Bloody Mary tried to comfort me, but I told her "fuck off" and I ran in my room crying myself. Dumbledore chased after me, shouting, but he had to stop when I went in my room because he would have looked like a perv that way. Anyway, I started crying tears of blood. Then I slit both of my wrists. Okay. They got all over my clothes, so I took them off and jumped into the bath angrily while I put on a Lincoln. While I put on a Lincoln Park song at full volume, I grabbed a steak. I grabbed a steak, as in the the meat, and almost stuck it into my heart to commit suicide. I was so fucking depressed. I got out of the bathtub and put on a black low-cut dress with lace all over it, sandily. Sandily. Sand, in a manner akin to sand. Okay, I put on black high heels with pink metal stuff on the ends and six pairs of skull earrings. I couldn't fucking believe it. Then I looked out the window and screamed. Snap, <laughs> Snap was spying on me, and he was taking a videotape of me. And Lupin was masticating to it. They were sitting on their broomsticks. Ew, you fucking pervs. Yeah, chewing. Ew, you fucking pervs. Stop looking at me naked. Are you pedos or what? I screamed, putting on a black towel with a picture of Marilyn Manson on it. Suddenly, Vampire ran in. <laughs> Abracadabra! <laughs> Abracadabra! <laughs> 
He yelled at Snape and Lupin, pointing his womb. <laughs> I took my gun and shot Snape and Lupin a gazillion times, and they both started screaming, and the camera broke. Suddenly, Dumbledore ran in. Ebony, Ebony, it has been revealed that someone has- No! He shouted, looking at Snape and Lupin, and then he waved his wand, and suddenly, Hargrid ran outside on his broom and said, Everyone, we need to talk. What do you know, Hagrid? You're just a little Hogwarts student. I may be a Hogwarts student, Hargrid paused angrily, but I am also a Satanist! This, this cannot be, Snap said in a, this cannot be, Snap said in a crisp voice as blood dripped from his hand where Dumbledore's wand had shot him. There must be other factors. <laughs> you don't, <laughs> you don't have any, I yelled in madly. Lupin held up the camera, trium elephantly. The lens may be ruined, but the tape is still there. I felt faint, more than I normally do, like how it feels when you do not drink enough blood. Hashtag relatable. Why are you doing this? Lupin said angrily while he rubbed his dirty hands on his cloak. <laughs> <laughs> not sure whether that's supposed to say cloak or cock. Oh. And then I heard the words that I had heard before, but not from him. I did not know whether to feel shocked and happy or to bite him and drink his blood because I felt faint. Because, because, Hargid said, and he paused in the air dramatically, waving his wand in the air. Then he swooped he in, singing to the tune of a gothic version of a song by 50 Cent. Rough. Because you're gothic? Snap said in a little afraid voice, because he was afraid it meant he was connected with Satan. Because I love her. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna. I'm gonna play a quick song by Fifty Cent. Just a little snippet, just enough. Okay, let's discuss now. Have a bit of a quick discussion about what just transpired. I... No. How is... Hmm. Who's a vampire? Um, everybody. Maybe, yes. I think. So how can they threaten... They can only die by stakes. Yeah. Or... Yep. Hmm. <laughs> Well, thank you all so much for joining me in this stream recording and everything else that I'm doing. But, uh, I'm gonna go for now. If, if you're on YouTube right now, you, you should join our Discord and hang out with us because it's pretty cool. I'll put the link in the description. Anyways, see you later. Hasta la vista. Have a good day. Ciao. Bye, everyone. Hit me with that, hit me with that link. Later, alligator. <laughs>